In an era when centers were dominant, Nate Thurman was an elite defensive big man who helped lead the Warriors to two finals appearances in the 1960s. The first player in the NBA to log a quadruple double, Thurman had his number retired by two franchises, the Warriors and the Cavaliers. Thurman is there to put it in. You see a guy like Nate Thurman hustle, and you know what professional sports is all about. Nate Thurman, when I was playing in Baltimore, Nate Thurman in one quarter against us had 18 rebounds. You know what I just said? 18 rebounds in one quarter. Of course, we must have been missing a lot of shots to let him get that many rebounds. I think someone told me that when he was traded to Chicago from San Francisco, I always remember this stat that he had the first quadruple in the game. He had uh, over 10 assists, 10, 10 rebounds, 10 blocks, and 10 points the first game that he was traded to Chicago. Nate was a, uh, a real force in the center position, uh, great shot blocker. And you were always aware, of course, uh, where he was, or you should have been, uh, if you're gonna drive to the basket, because uh, long arms. He was a great, great center. So we go to practice, we used to practice at this um, it was kind of a uh, smaller gymnasium at a recreational center down in San Bruno. Nate and Al Adels let him get away with it. You know, we all would practice and everything would run, but Nate did not. He practiced, but it was all in slow motion. He saved it all for the game. But one time at that recreation center in San Bruno, California, all of a sudden Nate took a shot and it went in. Okay. And so we go down and all of a sudden, the you know, ball went in his hands again. He, we're kind of half scrimmaging, you know, and, uh, and so not fast breaking or anything. And he hit another shot. So Nate, got, all of a sudden, he, he, you know, sometimes you get hot. And he, he accidentally got hot. And I just remember Nate and everybody laughed. It was just because he was so cute, you know, about this. So he hit about six, seven shots in a row. And he went down the court and he started singing, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> and it was so unlike Nate. When I had to play against him in practice a lot of times, the thing that made it so difficult for Nate, he had exceptionally long arms, but a lot of players, even like Bo Russell, would hold their arms up, you know, at shoulders height or above. And you could kind of anticipate where you might have had to do it if you drove against him to get a floater up over him. But it was very difficult with Nate because he had he used to keep his arms down. And so uh, it was kind of a mystery, you know, how far do I have to throw this? Because he's got really long arms and then he's going to jump. So I think it made it very difficult, but he was an uh, outstanding defender, one of the best defenders ever. And obviously a guy that could score 15 to 20 points a game along with that. Thurman fires from 22 feet away and gets it. Intimidate people and, and block some shots. Nate is one of the nicest guys you, you'd ever want to meet compelling figure in the paint with the Golden State Warriors there on that championship team with Adels and those guys. He went to the Cavaliers, made them winners. And when I talked to those guys on that team, uh, Jim Jones, uh, Austin Carr, Campy Russell, they have nothing but the utmost respect for Nate like I do. Followed by Thurman. He's done that a few times his career. He was a great guy, but I'm gonna tell you, you talk about a physical specimen. He looked like he was in the weight room every day, and I don't think he was. Uh, but uh, Nate was a uh, block shots. Uh, you weren't gonna come and just lay the ball up in front of him. Uh, if he was there, uh, you better come up with some kind of hoop to do or something. You know, you better be able to use the backboard or spin it up or whatever because uh, Nate had great timing and he certainly so deserved it. I uh, enjoyed uh, competing against him. I mean, you always enjoy competing against the best players in the league. And certainly uh, when you talk about Nate Thurman, uh, there's no way you could leave him out. Nate Thurman was simply one of the great rebounders in NBA history as a physical force. Where do you place him in the league history? Well, tremendous. And uh, until LeBron James came along many years later, he was the greatest player from Akron, Ohio. Came into the NBA, was a backup first to Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, but when Wilt was traded from the Warriors to the Sixers, all of a sudden, Nate had his chance. And as you said, just a tremendous, relentless rebounder, very athletic center, um, really put the Warriors on the map, and then he got the ultimate stamp of approval from an all-time great.
Yeah, that was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, who had to face him because they were contemporaries. What did he have to say about Nate? Well, uh, first of all, keep it into the context that Kareem has played against so, so many great players. He said Nate was the toughest player he ever played against. Now, consider that statement. This is a guy who played against Will, you know, Russell at the end. Nate Thurman, the toughest mm. player Kareem ever played against. That says something. He was also the first player to ever record a quadruple double. In the first meeting between Nate Thurman and Kareem back in 1969, well, the night before they played the Warriors, they played the Lakers down in Los Angeles. And Nate got on a, didn't tell anybody, Nate Thurman got on a plane, flew down to Los Angeles, bought a ticket, and went in and scouted Kareem, okay? The next night, Milwaukee then played the San Francisco Warriors. He held him to a season low, rookie season low, 17 in the game. And Nate told me, he said, I always felt because of that one first game that I had an advantage over him. And, and, and how many guys are going to go scout a guy, pay their own way to go to another city? But that's what he did. And by the way, you can go and look, read about Kareem anywhere. Who is the toughest man you ever played against? And he always said that Nate Thurman gave him the most trouble and he was the best defensive player throughout his career.